Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about materials and vertex colors in Unreal 4. In most modeling packages, you can store vertex colors or vertex data on each vertice of your mesh. Additionally, some game engines let you paint vertex colors directly in the engine, and some don't. In my project, I've made a new master material, I've made a material instance of that master material, and I've imported a new model that has vertex colors on it, and I put that material instance on that model. Now something to note before we dive into the master material, on your model, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you get to import settings. And in here, you'll see vertex colors. And if it says ignore, you're not gonna be able to see your vertex color show up at all. So you wanna click on this dropdown and you wanna click on replace. And then you're gonna to wanna to click reimport base mesh. Now let's go over to our master material. And we have that open. We're also gonna pull this cylinder over to the side. So we preview it as we adjust things. Now the first thing we can do is colorize our mesh based on those vertex colors. So if we right click, we're looking for vertex color. And if we take the top node and plug this straight into base color, and we save it, you'll see all of your vertex colors show up. You can change these colors in your modeling package to whatever you want, but if you wanna use these as masks, you're gonna to wanna to use red, green, blue, black, and alpha, or white. Now if we preview each one of these masks, you'll see that the alpha or the white is being included in all of the masks because white is the inclusion of all colors. And you'll see that black is being taken out of all the masks because black is the exclusion of all colors. If you didn't have these pins, what you would wanna use is a component mask. And you would wanna make three of these. One for red, one for green, and one for blue. Now from here, we wanna use these masks to blend between different textures or different colors. So what we wanna look for is a LERP, a linear interpolate. What this is gonna do is, is gonna take in two textures or two colors, and then you can blend it by a certain alpha. And that alpha is gonna be one of our masks. So we'll start with the red. We're gonna make two constant threes. This top one is gonna be our black. The second one is gonna be our red. Plug those in, and then we'll preview it. Now we need to add the other masks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that lerp and that color. We're gonna paste it down below. And we're gonna daisy chain the previous lerp into the top of this lerp. And we'll plug the green mask into this one. We're gonna change this color to green for previewing. Plug that in. And now we have green. And then we'll do the blue. We'll daisy chain the previous lerp into this one. We'll draw this by the blue. We'll change this color to blue. And we'll preview this one. And we'll hit save. And we're gonna clean this up really quick. Now to get the alpha, what we wanna do is we wanna multiply the red by the green. When we preview this in the base color, you'll see that just the alpha is being masked. So we'll copy this lerp and we'll copy this color, paste it down here, daisy chain it in, apply our alpha mask, we'll change this color, just make it white, and we'll plug that into the base color. And we'll hit save. And you'll see that everything's showing up. Now from here, if you wanted to set up a full texture set, you have to repeat this for the metallic, roughness, emissive, and normal. But to finish this off, I'm gonna convert all these to parameters so I can see them in my material instance. All right guys, that covers vertex colors in Unreal 4. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.